You want to check the chemicals probably about once a week in the summertime in your water feature to avoid algae in it. If you have algae, I'll show you what you need to do to treat it. I'm going to test your water with this regular 5-in-1 test kit. It's fine. This is going to check the chlorine here. Right now you can see the chlorine is pretty low. It's not changing color. And this touches the pH on this side. You can see it's showing no chlorine in here. That's why there's a little bit of algae over by the statue right there. And the pH is fine. You want to keep the pH kind of high in the water feature. 7.8 or higher would be fine. A lot of the water features have internal pumps and if the pH gets too low, 7.2 or lower, it'll damage the internal pump. And if the pH drops below 7.2, you want to definitely add a little bit of base or soda ash pH up to your water feature and that will raise the pH up. You also want to avoid using calcium hypochlorite or calhypo in your water feature. It'll just cloud up the water probably for weeks on end and get really powdery. And you don't want to use the trichlor tablets either. Uh, the acid in there will lower the pH down and that could damage the internal pump if the pH drops too low. So just stick with dichlor, liquid chlorine, or Clorox bleach for your water feature. And the only chlorine I would recommend in your water feature is either dichlor granular, which has a neutral pH, which is good for all water features, or liquid chlorine. You can also use regular Clorox bleach in your water feature or fountain to give yourself a residual chlorine reading and to kill algae. You see a little bit of algae here right here. So what you want to do is either sprinkle some dichlor directly on top. You can pour liquid chlorine or liquid bleach right over the algae spot. And that should take it right off. You can see that it just disappeared completely with the liquid chlorine. One thing that will happen in your water feature is that sometimes you get some foam in there. Not just a reaction. Uh, it could be a chemical reaction or it could be just the water getting a little bit old. So a product that works great is this foam down by leisure time. You just need a little bit of it in there and that will take care of it. Very small amount that will take care of any foam that built up in the water feature. You can see it already disappeared here where I sprinkled it earlier. So if you have a fountain like this one with a submersible pump, you want to keep the water level above the pump otherwise it could burn out. I'll show you the pump real quick. Inside here is the pump. And sometimes the front will get clogged with debris, you want to unclog it. And this top part here, the stream water up here, connects to a tube inside here. And that's what gives it that flow on top when you put it back in. So to avoid algae in your water feature, you want to keep the plumbing level high like this right here. It's a good level. This is above 3.0 for this feature here. So you want to run your fountain a set time every day to circulate the water in there. And again, keeping the chlorine level high using the liquid chlorine, Clorox bleach, or dye